Good afternoon, everyone. Pastor Peace here. I want to make a short introductory video concerning this prayer challenge I mentioned last Sunday afternoon. The challenge that God has laid upon my heart to give to our fam church family is to pray for an hour a day or to extend our normal prayer time. I know some people say an hour a day is too much. I don't know how I could do that. And that's why we're making these videos to help you pray for an extended period of time. So if you're praying 20 minutes a day, I want to encourage you to pray for 30. If you're praying for 30, extend that out to 40 or so on. Let God lead you and direct you in that area. You say, Pastor, I already pray for an hour. Well, praise the Lord. You know the importance of prayer. So extend it out even a little bit further. And if you haven't been praying on a regular basis, this is the perfect time to begin. Now, where does this thought come from? It's not original with me. There's a a man I listened to at a conference a number of weeks ago at Pensacola Christian College. His name is Dr. Johnny Pope. And he had told me, and he preached about the importance of prayer. And he gave this testimony. He said, for over 30 years, he's an older gentleman, but for over 30 years, there has been a group of men at his church that from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. would pray every single day. Now, they didn't meet together. They did it at their individual homes or maybe at their workplace, depending on when they worked or how they worked or even driving. Um, some of them were truck drivers, I believe. But an hour a day from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. And he says the blessings that God has placed upon his family and his ministry and the church is based off of that hour a day. He said they were prayer warriors. He said that the, at different times there's larger numbers, and even now it's a little bit smaller of a number, but there's still over 30 to 40 men each day that pray. Now, I know in the beginning he said it was from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., but no longer do they all do it at the same time. But he gets up every day, 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., to pray to God. And he says that's the reason why he believes God has given him um, a blessing in his ministry and with his family. Now, I'm not going to say, hey, I want you to do this forever. I think we once we get used to it, we're going to be interested in doing it forever. I want us to make this commitment during this time of uncertainty. If the president can call for a national emergency and other people can call it a pandemic, I think we can call ourselves and our church family to an extended time of prayer. Now, to help with this, I want to post some different videos short videos, probably seven or eight of them, giving a way for us to pray an extended amount of time. If you remember back in 2018, we had a series called A Prayer Journey or The Prayer Journey. And we went through this thought, 12 different prayer stops that if they last five minutes each stop, it will last, your prayer time will last for an hour. So along those lines, that's what these videos are going to be about. Obviously, as you grow in your prayer time, you grow in your walk with the Lord, there are things you make your own. I remember in that 2018, I was challenged by a preacher about praying for an hour and the instructions that I watched, how he led his church in that. And many of those same ideas was the same thing I did with our church. And there was even a book that I believe is called The Hour That Changes the World. Um, that has the same different process. Now, that it's a good book. It helped me in a lot of ways, but I wouldn't recommend some of the people that are quoted in there. They don't write the things the way I would. They probably use a different version of the Bible. But the book helped me understand the different 12 stops they talked about. Now, we changed it some in 2018 when we were uh, going through it with our own church family, even changed it from the other pastor. And I, one of the things I enjoy about Brother Popes, he has seven different things they pray for an hour about. So everybody has their own system. Because as you're talking to the Lord, it becomes something that's personal. I'm going to show you some things that help me. I'm going to show you how it's easy to pray for an hour if you're, if you're interested. If you're really interested in drawing close to God and having God draw close to you, it is something you'll take time for and make time for. Now, once again, I know some of you, an hour at the beginning seems like it's impossible. So just extend your time a little bit. And many of you that already pray for that hour, I still want you to extend your sum. Remember, this is an unusual time. As I mentioned a few times in preaching, this is a, maybe a once-in-a-lifetime thing. This is something that they're going to write about in history and how we respond now as a church and how we respond now as Christians. We could be changing history. Many preachers are saying this would be great to have another spiritual awakening in our country. 
And I've seen sparks of revival in my own life and also in many of, my, many of our church family's life. And I'm excited about what God's doing. I'm excited about how God's going to work this all out. And you say, well, Pastor, what's going to happen? I don't know what the future holds. I, I do know something for certain. God loves people. And I know that God uses circumstances to draw people close to him. And in my, you ask, so what's your opinion? In my opinion, things are only going to get worse until Christ comes back. The Bible talks about that. And this time, this pandemic, uh, is in a form of a pestilence that God is trying to use that to get a hold of people's attention. So that way they'll draw nigh unto him. That will soften their hearts. If that's the case, let's let God work in our hearts so we can help work in other people's hearts. Let's make ourselves available to God, and let's make ourselves ready to be used by God. And one of the best ways we can do that is by having quality prayer time along with God. If you read the Bible in the last times, or the last days, and I believe we're living in the last of the last days, things are going to get worse and worse. And yes, I think we're going to make it through this. I think that uh, America is going to be different, and America is going to be changed, and we're going to make it through this. And Hopefully, it'll be revival. Hopefully, it'll be a great turning back to God. But also, I wonder about the next catastrophe or the next problem that the world has. What's it going to be like then? Can we handle another one? I know God's in control. I'm not worried about it. I'm actually kind of excited to see what God's going to do. But I want to be a part of it. I want to be a part of what he's trying to do in our church family life and also to minister to those that do not know him. Remember, we're praying for you. Watch this video. Watch some of the other videos coming up, and it will help you learn how to pray for an extended period of time. The first video is going to be about praising the Lord. The best thing we can do to have the right heart spirit is how to learn to begin our prayers with praise. Look forward to talking to you again soon. Let me know if you need anything.